Hello, thank you for joining me, Canopy members. My name is Bridget Bouvier, and I'm part of the broker relations team. Today, we're going to go over Supra eKey basics on your app, and we're going to go over how to register on Supra web. So let's get started by looking at a very short video from Supra. In this quick video, you'll learn how to use your eKey to obtain the key and open the Supra Keybox Shackle. Let's get to it straight away. Let's learn how to perform these two functions. It's showing time and you need the house key to access the listing. Here's how to use your e-key to obtain the key. Enter your PIN code. Activate Bluetooth by pressing up on the bottom of the key box. When you see success, push up on the key container to release it and obtain the house key. So here's a pro tip. Anytime you're going out to a remote area, I highly recommend opening up your app and tapping on the update button before you go out. This will allow the app and the lockbox to communicate via Bluetooth. Wi-Fi is not necessary. Next, you have a listing. Let's release the shackle and assign the key box to a listing. Select Open Shackle. Enter the shackle code for the key box. Select the reason you are releasing the shackle. Tap Done. Tap Save. So here's your second pro tip. Anytime you're assigning your lockbox to your listing, you'll want to choose that MLS number instead of the house number. I always recommend using that MLS number because perhaps there's another listing in the same proximity with the same house number. That way that ensures that your app and your listing will be synced correctly. Tap Begin. Activate Bluetooth by pressing up on the bottom of the key box. When you see Compress the Shackle to the key box in the app, press down on the shackle to release it and place the key box on the listing. Important, if you're adding a new listing, enter the house number or MLS number to assign the key box to the listing. This ensured that you're showing reports and notifications are more detailed. Now I have to demonstrate they missed one thing. You always wanna add your lockbox to your lockbox inventory in order to get your showing notifications. So I'm gonna show you that here in a few moments. Okay, now that we've logged into our phone, I wanted to demonstrate where you can add your lockbox to your inventory. So the very first place you can add your lockbox to your inventory is by tapping on My Lockboxes and tapping on Add Lockbox. You'll enter your shackle code, and then you have to press up on the bottom of the lockbox to get the lockbox to communicate with your app and vice versa. And once it's successful, you have added your key box to your inventory. So now it's on your list here. Anytime you're going back and forth in the app and you need to get to your home page, all you have to do is tap the house icon. So in the demonstration, open shackle, you add your shackle code here. You select your reason. And remember, if you're adding your key box to your listing, you'll want to add that MLS number instead of the house number. But I'm just going to select none. And then I'm going to use this little toggle here to toggle on add my key box to inventory. I'm going to select begin by pressing up on the lock box. It will communicate it will prompt you to open the shackle and then compress the shackle easily, comes right off. To relatch it, you just press it down like so. All right, so now let's take a look at open key. Obtain key. You'll wanna put your pin code in or if you've got it set up to where you only need to put your pin code in once a day, it will autofill for you. You press up on the bottom of the lockbox to activate the lockbox Bluetooth and it'll start blinking here. Once you have the message success, then you press up on the lockbox a second time 
and the key container will come out easily. Go ahead and when you're finished, slide that back in easily. And that way it won't jam. It will be ready for the next buyer's agent to come and show that listing. And here's some information about the listing that you've entered. So we're gonna go back up to our house icon and just review some of the icons. So we already had a quick peek at my lockboxes. I'm not gonna get into too many details here, but you can join me for the super e-key and super wet intermediate class coming up. Um, if you tap on the one of the lockbox, you'll see that you can have some program functions here. You do need the lockbox with you to do anything here in this section. Edit lockbox data. You don't need the lockbox present, so you can add a showing note, some listing information, and add your business card information. Grant managed access is used for non-members like a home inspector, photographer, maybe someone's going to measure the property. It's a good idea to check your office policy to make sure this is allowed before granting access to a non-member. And also send a message to your seller and do this via email. That way you have something that you could put in your listing folder. Messages, if you do get a message in your app, pay attention to those. Those are from either Canopy MLS or Supra. Data at the door and showing management and walkthrough is not part of our eKey basic service level. However, managed access records all of those non-member accesses that you have. So you have a history of you who you have granted your non-member access to. Your showing notifications, this is for list agents. This will show you who has gone in and out of your listing. And if you need an explanation of what the symbols mean, you have a legend at the top here. Your alert function is a great function that Supra has put right within the app. And it's based on your location of where your phone is. So you do need to set this up in Supra web. And we'll be going through that in your Supra advanced class coming up. All you have to do is put your thumb or finger on that button, hold it down for a few moments, and you'll notice that the alert feature buzzes underneath your fingertips so you know that the email or text has been sent. You have a nice flashlight here, which is great for showing in the winter months, or if you need to read something, maybe you're showing a modular or manufactured and you want to look at the label underneath the sink. Or if you want to check out a crawl space, remember, safety first. Let your clients or customers go in front of you. That way you don't have someone hanging out behind you. You have your update button. That's important for folks going out to the remote areas. Remember to tap that before you go out. And then under your more button here, you have some settings. You have your about eKey app. This is your eKey serial number again, and this is your level of service. Your email diagnostics could be helpful if you're on a call with super support and they need to see what's going on with your app. Reset authorization is handy if you're getting ready to change phones and you want to send yourself an authorization code before you turn in your old phone. And then when you get your new phone, all you have to do is retrieve that authorization code from your email, and then you'll get right back in your app and back in business. If you need help after hours or on Sundays, the support number for Supra is located right here. This is where you can get that update code. And if you have some time and you're on agent duty and you want to explore the app a little bit further, you can look at Supra's website or under eKey resources, there's a lot of different videos that you can view to learn more about the app. This is your privacy policy that you agreed to. If you'd like to review that, that information's there. So let's tap on the more tab one more time and get back over to settings and go over what we need to have set up. So you always wanna have your automatic update toggled on. Location services on, auto feedback is optional. Vibrate feedback is optional. E-key app notifications does need to be turned on if you want to get those notifications that someone has accessed your lockbox. 
CBS input is optional. CBS stands for call before showing. It's an extra layer of security that you can add and that would require the buyer agent or perhaps an appraiser or an inspector to put in two codes, their four digit PIN number, plus a seven digit code that you've selected and enabled in your lockbox settings. Require PIN once per day is handy if you've got five showings in one day and you wanna get this set up, then you just toggle that on. You do need to have a password protection on your phone, either PIN number, touch ID, or face ID. Biometrics is also optional. That's an extra layer of security when you're getting into your app. So let's tap on the more button one more time and check out my profile. So if you wanna change your photo, you can do so by tapping on the pencil up here on the top right. If you need to change your email address or your contact phone number, you do need to go to your Ramco dashboard within Matrix. If you're on your Matrix homepage, it's the very first link under Realtor Tools. So clicking on more one more time, my keys houses multiple keys if you're showing property or listing property in another MLS area that has Supra. So you can add that second Supra key right here, which is handy. So if you're going back and forth in between, let's say Tennessee and North Carolina and your MLS in Tennessee has Supra, you can add your key here. You do need to get an authorization code from your other MLS. Your Super Web toggle is a mobile version of Super Web. We're gonna go into Super Web on your desktop or laptop a little bit later. The functionality is slightly limited. So this is where that eKey serial number will come in handy. You do need to add that. You'll need to add your PIN number, and then you need to select the MLS or association that you're with. So you'll see there's a lot of different MLSs. So make sure you're selecting Carolina MLS DBA Canopy MLS, and then you tap and add your PIN code. If your phone is going to save your PIN code and eKey serial number like mine has, that's a handy little tool. So I've got that set up so it will recognize Space ID. Once I log in, you'll have that place to get that update code. And then that's where you'll put it in the emergency update code area under About eKey App. You have your authorization code here as well. So if you know you're getting ready to change out phones, you can do so in this location. Your email reports are handy for um, if you want to get some information on the listings that you have, or maybe you want to see your key activity of where you've gone, or if you think that somebody has gone into one of your listings and you want information about a specific lockbox, you can create a report here. You can toggle and select the specific lockbox that you're referencing. And folks, make sure you're making those appointments before you access lockbox. Even if it says go and show, you still need to make an appointment with that list agent via showing time, email, or text, and make sure that you get a confirmation, okay? So that is a violation of Canopy MLS rules and regs. It carries a $500 fine. I don't want to see you get any fines. So again, make those appointments. So after you want to select your report that you need, you create the email and it'll be sent right over to your email address. So you have a place where you can assign your listings to your lockbox right here. And this is a list of lockboxes that you have available. If you have a lockbox in hand that's not on your list, most likely it needs to be unassigned from a listing that you've had previously. Okay, so let's switch over to SuperWeb. Okay, so open up your laptop or go to your desktop and go to your browser and type www.suprasystems.com and then you will see Supra Web for Agents. Tap on that. The very first time that you log into the system, you have to register. So if you've never registered before, the system does not recognize any credentials that you've put into the, any system previously. You'll get to your registration page, fill out the information, the user ID can be any user ID. If you want to try your MLS ID, you can click on the little check box here and it will check your, that username across the nation to make sure no one else has had it. 
If someone has used it, maybe add your initials at the end. Your password does need to begin with a letter. So if you hover over the information bubble, then you'll get the parameters on how to add your password. You'll add some challenge question information and the code to let the system know you're not a robot, hit submit, and then you'll be able to get into the system. The very first time you log into SuperWeb, you're going to need that eKey serial number, your PIN number, and you'll need to check the MLS. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And this is the dashboard that you'll be seeing. So in our next class, we're going to review all of the different information on SuperWeb in detail. But at a quick glance, this list is everyone that has gone into your lockboxes. It shows if you have your listings assigned and you also have an inventory of all of your key boxes right here. So all of your inventory will also show up on this page. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in a class real soon. Before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and add the screen that shows all of our phone numbers and contact information. My phone number, 828-318-8888. You can text me there. I have my messages and I get those popped right up right away. Member services is available Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30. And support at MLS can handle some basic questions between 8.30 and 3. If you need help after hours or on Sundays, remember that super support number is right in your app. All you have to do is click more about eKey app, and that phone number is linked right there in your phone. Thanks again now. Hope to see you in a class real soon. Bye-bye.